Ayaka has now been confirmed to be in the next reruns for the Genshin Impact 2.6 update. And how we know that is because of Genshin's tweet. Genshin tweeted that their live stream is going to be out on the 18th of March. So guys, be ready for that. And in the thumbnail of that image, there's Ayaka and Ayato both on the same screen. And I am... I think I'm safe to assume that they'll both be on the 2.6 update. Now, which part of the update? I'm not quite sure. I guess we'll have to wait on that. But something that's weird is that we don't really know the other character that's going to be on the banner. We could speculate as much as we want, but people have been speculating that Venti is going to be on that banner or on a rerun banner, right? So i don't know what you guys may think but i think that's a pretty good possibility that venti is on one of these banners personally i would want kasaha on one of these banners <laughs> as much as i do want him um it will give a nice chance for those of you guys that want venti or want amisato ayaka you know on these reruns so if you want both of those characters you can now have a chance to get them and that's really good because I might actually roll for Ayaka here and then go for Kazaha next, which is pretty good for me. Now, I want to know what you guys think in the comment section down below, who you think are going to be on the next rerun banners. Personally, I do think that Venti might make a rerun, especially if it has something to do with the Chasm, right? But if there is any sort of chance that Kaza makes it, I'll be, I'll be glad. <laughs> but yeah, the reason why, you know, people would want Ayaka, people would want Venti is because these characters are actually really good. Now, Venti is actually a surprisingly easy character to build. You don't really need much on him. If you have the Stringless, you pretty much already are halfway there. The Stringless is such a fantastic weapon for Venti, especially because it gives that Elemental Mastery after the Elemental Mastery animal buff that they had earlier. So yeah, it's definitely a really good weapon for him now and I will always use this on him. Unless obviously I have the 5 star bow. I forgot what it was called but it has the elemental mastery on its substats. The Viridescent on Venti just works so perfectly well because it just sh absolutely shreds all of the resistance on the elemental damage. And it also swirls a lot because you're now building Venti on Elemental Mastery. And because you're doing that, you're going to be swirling a lot. You're going to be getting a lot of that additional damage. Venti is one of my favorite characters in the game. And it's a little bit unfortunate that he hasn't been quite, quote unquote, in the meta yet. Because of, you know, just Spiralibus in general. And not being able to collect those enemies into his black hole. But it is fine because the Wing Grand's Ode will be making a return. Maybe they'll buff him in the next patch. I have no idea. But yeah, Venti is such a great character. And I highly suggest that you guys actually get him on the next rerun. But there's also a chance for Kaza to be coming in the patch after that. And personally, if you want for, you know, effectiveness, I would go with Kaza. But if you guys just like Venti like me... Uh, he's definitely a great character. Kamisato Ayaka is one of my favorite characters in the game as well, and for good reason. He is so fun to play with, and her build is actually not that hard to actually get to. Now, Ayaka right now is only level 80 out of 80 because this is my AJ account, and I'm only AR45 on this. So, keep that in mind. And I just really like Kamisato Ayaka in terms of her actual build. She's so easy and simple, and... Pretty much all you need is her ultimate ability. I know there is a lot with her, you know, yeah, with her charge attacks, with her elemental skill, all being powerful as well. But that's, in my opinion, a personal bonus. Um, she's such a fun character to use, even if her sprint is similar to that of Mona's. I still like her as a character, and she's definitely one of my top 10 characters in the game, or even top 5. He's definitely one of the most fun characters I've played with on the game. And personally, I will be summoning on her banner and trying to get her in the upcoming patch. So that'll be something to look forward to. And not only that, but Ayaka is just so easy to build that it's almost <laughs> so hard to miss her. She has so much potential within this cryo damage artifact set that it's so easy to build her upon just crit damage. And I know you can, you know, probably get the crit rate up a little bit, but crit damage is where it's at because of her actual artifact set. Um, but yes, I definitely do enjoy 
Ayaka in general. Her constellations do make her so much more powerful in terms of a DPS character. But I feel like at C0, she is still as good and as fun. And um, yeah, personally, I really enjoy Ayaka. And a lot of you guys have a chance now to get Ayaka on your accounts. Let me know what you guys are going to be doing in the comment section down below. That would be pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy and got something out of it. If you did, consider leaving a like as well as subscribing to the channel as well to see more videos like this in the upcoming future. I'll see you guys next video very soon. Goodbye. Peace. Love the sheep.